My name is Cynthia Crane. I'm the Executive Director of the Aurora Fossil Museum. Uh, my name is Dr. George Oliver. Here at the museum they call me Dr. George and I'm the museum educator at the Aurora Fossil Museum. Uh, this museum was founded in 1976 and opened in 1978. This room that I'm standing in is the original museum. One, one room museum that we had and it's expanded over the years. We now are considered a complex <laughs> museum or a campus museum with multiple buildings and a fossil park where people can fossil hunt and keep what they find. Um, just a few weeks ago we had uh, some visitors who came in with some really interesting specimens that they had found. Uh, they're from Raleigh and they come down to this area to go fossil hunting and they had been in the Neuse River uh, in the neighborhood of Minnesota Beach and had found two beautiful specimens. Uh, they sent us pictures uh, first, email pictures, but then they came in to show us the actual specimens. Uh, one specimen was a beautiful walrus tusk, about this long, about that big around, in really good condition. It was a very dark black color, very heavy. Um, and it was a fossilized walrus tusk from the Neuse River and they wanted to know how old it was, how it got there, and so forth. And um, many years ago, uh, over 10,000 years ago, we actually had walruses in North Carolina. Um, and they all kind of moved away and disappeared from this area about 10,000 years ago. Uh, that was the end of the Pleistocene. Uh, the Pleistocene was from 2.6 million to 10,000 years ago. And so it was in that time period that that walrus actually lived here in North Carolina in what is now the Neuse River. We could date it to the Pleistocene era and the layer it's in is called the gumbo clay formation and that's eroded away in the Neuse River so you can actually go out into the Neuse River along the banks and wade in a little ways and he had actually seen it sticking out of the clay, the clay formation. And that dates it to a little over between 10,000 and 2.6 million years ago. And the part of the tusk that he had was about the lower half. Uh, this is actually a walrus tusk from North Carolina. This was found in Oregon Inlet uh, there on the coast uh, by a fisherman some years ago. It was donated by the family and by him to the museum. And what they had was about the lower half of the walrus tusk. It was not quite as big as that one, but almost. So anyway, one of the things we do here at the museum, uh, we get a lot of emails and visitors who bring fossils from all over uh, for us to identify. And the first thing you always ask is, where is it from? Where did they find it? Was it on the beach? Uh, was it in the phosphate mine? Was it in a river or a creek? And that will help us to identify it. Uh, and by the location and looking at the fossils, we can identify most things. Uh, and so we were really happy to see their specimens and help them to identify them. Um, the museum is known for its outreach and education mission, so we encourage people to just share their discoveries with us. A lot of times um, they email us, which when you do email us, just include a scale, like a ruler or a coin, so we know the size of the object that they're wanting identified, and we try our best to, to identify them and sometimes they bring them in because we want a closer look or they're just in the area and wanting to visit and they bring their fossils with them. Yeah, the Aurora Fossil Museum is an admission-free nonprofit museum. We're open Tuesday through Sunday, 9.30 to 4. Um, our hours may, and days may change in the fall just depending on um, what we, what we need to do. We're always doing some projects <laughs> here to keep things updated and um, share new things with our visitors. Um, like I said, we're admission free, um, nonprofit, and donations are greatly encouraged. And um, we'd love to have you come out and dig the past with us.